have been using Linux for a while. I have configured many Linux servers, many Linux desktop, and I have gone through this Linux desktop journey that I have used a lot of desktop environments, a lot of window manager, but uh, throughout my years, I have switched, I have changed, I have moved on from a full bread desktop environment to a minimalistic standalone window managers and turned them into a desktop uh, desktop environment that is tailored to specific my needs. So you already know I've been using also window manager for a while. I love it. It's based on XOR, Unity drivers are easy to use. And there are some couple animation that you can use, for example, PyCon and a lot more. But uh, I decided to switch up. I decided to try something new. I have switched to Wayland and Hyperland Window Manager. So this is my new desktop environment. Uh, it's based on Hyperland. Uh, it's based on Wayland. It's called Hyperland uh, Hyperland Window Manager. It's a dynamic tiling window manager. You can move around, check, uh, move around different environments. You can go to full screen and everything. And whatever you like, you can do with this uh, window manager. You already know I'm obsessed with animations. Moving tiling from one to one or shifting between five and six or four. I just love the animation. There is just no comparison for uh, what Wayland has done. So it's a pretty, if you go to github.com slash hyperland, uh, it's a pretty new project. You can see they have 3000, almost 4000 commits. They have made a class commit an hour ago. The community is pretty active. They have their own, uh, uh, um, they have their own website through which you can access. They have pretty default configuration as you can see on their website. It's, it's awesome to be honest. Now you can use different configuration. There are a lot of configuration outside that you can use. But for my, I, I didn't want to design from scratch. So uh, there was a YouTuber named ChrisTouch.com. I just used his configuration. I have to say he did a very good job configuring this desktop environment. I did make some tweaks. So if uh, I will publish those tweaks on my GitHub repo. So if you like, you can do that. I also made a cheat sheet uh, or you can say a blog post on this my whole experience. In this blog post, I have gone through the installation choices. What should be your base operating system? Since Hyperland is pretty new, so you need a rolling release model. You can go with Arch, you can go with Nix, you can go with Fedora, uh, any three, but do not go with any Debian based or Ubuntu based operating system because they are not a uh, rolling release model. So the dependencies might not be up to date. That might cause a lot of issues, but uh, you can check it out. I have also I lay out some images for my desktop for my uh, new way and BS code. So here is overall my experience with um, with Hyperland. So Hyperland is I like I said it's pretty good. I like the animation. I like everything, but uh, it is uh, some of its pros are some of the for, for features are like I said its animation is so good. The transition from one visual desktop to another is so much so much better. I it is only the one of the one of the windows man that I have seen that can do a rounded corners and has also have a, a pretty good shadow. So if for example if you are on awesome window managers and you have added uh, shadows to your PyCom, then everything started to go to hell. Uh, the shadows are not great on awesome window manager, so I mostly disable them. But on Hyperland, that's is not an issue. Debugging is very easy. No matter how matters, no matter how much a small change you made to the like configuration, it will automatically reload and it will send an error uh, on the top of your um, on top of your status bar. So these are some of the pros that I like, but it's not perfect. It's not hundred percent wall garden. There are some cons to it. The biggest con has to be in media drivers. Since Wayland is still a brand new operating uh, brand new compositor, NVIDIA drivers do not work with, uh, with Wayland out of the box. You need to do a lot of trickery. You need to config a lot of files in order to make NVIDIA driver work for, uh, work for, uh, in, for Wayland or in this case, Hyperland. Uh, I have an RTX 3060 in my laptop and I have, I have installed NVIDIA driver, but they do not work. Uh, so I cannot use any external monitor, so I have no experience with that. Might be when I get an AMD based laptop, I might try external monitor as well. The configuration has some issues, uh, configuration file. 
so for example you cannot assign uh, you can assign one hotkey to one application only so for example i have i have assigned control f1 to some application and i want to assign control f1 to an, an obs uh, as something shortcut then you're out of luck you cannot assign an, an, an hotkey inside another application that key is reserved for only uh, for Wayland and Hyperland config files. This is something that I've seen on their issue form and lag uh, issue form and the developer said they are working upon it but I don't know when they will be completed. Third option is Pipewire. Oh god. Just like Wayland, Pipewire is pretty, pretty new. So when if you're using XOR, you, you have a choice you can use Pipewire or Pulse Audio and so if you're using XOR then it's not a problem. Um, it will screen record because XOR is so solid. Uh, it has years of development. It cannot if you use Piper if you would Piper Pulse Audio, it doesn't affect you. But if you're on WLAN, they have this security mechanism that you cannot screen record. You cannot um, uh, share your screen if you are using WLAN. So in order to do that, you need to use Piper. Piper, you can say that Piper is the sound service plus a pass through for wayland so if you're on wayland then you have to use pipewire and if you're using both pulse body and pipewire which uh, i am on my system then it's a nightmare because if you have uh, if you are using a wireless headphone or any kind of headphone your pipewire will kick in and it will switch you automatically switch between your pulse audio and your pipewire it might be something that i have not configured uh, but i'm not i'm not sure yet but this automatically switching between Pulse Audio and Pipewire is a nightmare. So I just completely installed uh, Pulse Audio so that I can use Pipewire for my pass through and for my audio, and it worked pretty good. Overall, it's all right. It's good. It get the job done. Um, there are still a couple of GUI applications that are not available for Pipewire. Um, there are a lot of uh, Ulsmar, uh, Panwa Control. All of these are work out of the box with pulse audio but as for pipewire you need to configure a little bit um so what are my final thoughts i'll on to be honest i just love pipeline the animation the scrolling it makes make me use my system even more it's uh, every single day that uh, i need to come online and use my computer uh, i have installed uh, hyperland on uh, Arch Linux and basic Arch Linux server and I built this system from the ground up. Hyperland is stunning overall increase my well, you could say it has increased my system performance and it has give me the elevation that I need to get on my get on my computer and use it. It is something that it is that I like. I'm not saying it's hundred percent perfect. It might not be. Um, for example, in video drivers, like I said, it's our nightmare for to config here so i'm not using nvidia so if i there is some program that i need to use nvidia on then i use a uh, prime run uh, it's a small utility that allow the certain application to run on in specifically on india on nvidia graphic card which is all right for example if i'm using dimension resolve or i'm using kd live then i run to run kd kd live on nvidia otherwise i'm using my integrated graphics amd they get the job done i didn't i don't I don't game so I don't need that much. So that's my overall experience with uh, with Hyperland. It is pretty good. Virtualization has been awesome. I have installed Windows on VMware. I use a bunch of virtualization on Kvit Manager and it get the job done. I love it and there's nothing. So you should try it and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.